Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Hunting Simulator 3, or 2, excuse me, on the PS4 Pro. We're in the future. Uh, yeah, uh, we're playing the future game. Uh, so I wanted to start looking at the elk here. Uh, I got a new elk. As you guys can see, his antlers are much larger than the other one. Very nice. Uh, this is the older elk. Uh, so like the, ma old. the mature elk. <laughs> like he done seen some shit. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, he's got some gorgeous antlers. I actually did a bit of hunting off camera so that we could get uh, a little bit of money to play around with. Uh, and I'll show you guys everything I got. I tried not to get too much new stuff so that we'd still have things to get uh, that you guys haven't seen. Uh, so I didn't get too much new things, but I did get the new elk there. Uh, before we go and look at some of those things I got, uh, I would like to mention that we haven't actually celebrated July 4th yet, so I know some people might ask us about that. Uh, recording this here on Friday night, uh, you know, before uh, July 4th, because we're hoping to avoid the fireworks that are going to be firing a whole night on Saturday night, which would ruin any recording we did. Uh, but I don't know how well that's going to work, because people are firing fireworks off all day today. We'll just do some role playing. Like there's other hunters in the area. Yeah, every firework you hear, that's just another hunter <laughs> missing his target. Or maybe we're being hunted. <laughs> oh no, that changes things. That changes everything, guys. I'm actually gonna change this song. Same song we always have. Do we on. have anything a little upbeat and jazzy? <laughs> I don't think so, Jeans. Oh, we're uh, just we'll, chilling. We'll listen to the second one. We'll see what it sounds like. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys all the animals that we got. Again, I try not to get too much. Uh, we already had the sheep there. That's the deer we already had. I got that bird up there. It's like a something... Mallard? Yeah, like a teal duck or something. I don't uh -huh. know. Uh, I had teal in his can't name. can't see it very well. Yeah, you can't really see him all that well, but yeah, he's up there. Okay. And so I got him, and then I got a turkey. I got us well, a... a skinny feller. Mm -hmm. Or is yeah. it a lady? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, you can't. I don't think you can hunt the lady shinx. Oh. So I think that's a male turkey. You can't hunt female turkeys. I don't think so. No. They're not good eating. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's uh, they only let you you fire on the male turkeys, and I, that might be it. It's just the new well, antlers. Those motherfuckers like to run out in front of your your car with and the turkeys. Like a whole pack of them. Yeah. Hmm. Used to be a problem driving to school. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the turkeys. Watch out for the morning. turkeys. I thought there was one other one, but I guess I guess not. I guess that's it. Just the bird, the the, the two birds and the, the new antlers up there. Uh, so what we're going to do this episode is we want to do something a little bit different uh, than just go to Colorado and hunt the same animals. However, with the money, look how much I got, guys. I got 3457 So I got some money. You're rich, bitch. Uh, but the thing is, we kind of have to make a choice here, guys. We can either, hu either hunt different animals because we'd have to get a new gun. Uh, now you can just get different ammunition for your gun, but it's essentially the same prices. I mean, if you're just getting a new gun with a different ammunition type. So like for instance, this one, we have the 270 ammunition. If we wanted it to fire a 30 out six or 243, uh, then we'd have to pay full price to get those. So yeah, not interested in, in uh, getting the same gun. Uh, I'd like to get a different gun. And there's a lot of options, uh, but as you can see, this would be uh, the majority of our money, uh, probably all of our money. And so we wouldn't be able to get very many licenses. Uh, so yeah, I just don't think we'd be able to get uh, a gun and then go to the same, go to the, uh, a different place and get new licenses for it. So we can either choose to get a new gun with a new ammunition type or get new licenses in a different location, uh, you know, where we'd, we'd buy to buy quite a few things. Uh, and, and unfortunately, if we don't get the new gun, we won't be able to hunt the predators because they do require the 223 or 243. Is that a fucking yak? Uh, it's bison. <laughs> oh, okay. It's bison. Wait, and so... It doesn't really look like a bison, but okay. So what do you think, Jinx? Do you think we should, uh, you know, get a new gun, which would be, again, would be all our money, and then maybe we can get a couple licenses for, like, the bobcat and maybe the red fox and then maybe, like, coyotes or something like that? Uh-huh. I don't know if they, they might not have coyotes. I didn't see anything. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, so yeah, we'd only have a couple hundred. So we'd get maybe three or four licenses and we can get, go after like the predators with the new gun. Or we can just go ahead and go to Texas and, and hunt kind of similar animals. There's a few different ones here. The pronghorn would be one. We've never actually hunted a boar yet. Uh, bison would be another that we might be able to hunt with that 270. Although a lot of these bigger ones, they're harder to bring down. Like we've seen with yeah. the elk. The elk can be harder to bring down, down because we don't have the larger uh, calibers. Uh, uh, I guess 
It would be nice to go to a new map, but mm -hmm. I, I could also see the merit in getting a new gun and maybe going to the new map next time. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, although we would be kind of limited on our gun selection because we'd have to get a cheaper one. So if we did wait and just bought a few licenses in Texas, if we did wait, then we could have it wide open and be able to get any gun we wanted. So that would be one advantage. Unless we get a lot of fines. <laughs> <laughs> you think we're going to get a lot of fines? Uh, one option also, guys, is to get a bow. Like a crossbow or a traditional recurve bow. And they got a lot of options for the, the compound bow. If you get this, you can hunt anything with this. I want a bow. I think any animal can be killed with a bow. So it'd be an option. I, I imagine that bow gameplay is quite a bit different than the gun gameplay, though. So True. Uh, so this is what we'll do. We could also buy a dog. <laughs> That's an option as and well. And we do need a retriever. Yeah, so that we could get one of the, the Labradors so that, swim. so that they could go after the, the birds. That'd be an option too. Not that I don't love copper. <laughs> I think we can always bring we them along them still. All equally. Yeah, we just kind of rotate them out. I guess this is what we'll do. For a little variety, let's go to a different place. Since Jinx said she didn't care either way. So we'll just go to a different different place and just buy some licenses for this place and buy a lot of licenses. So we have a lot of variety with animals. We just won't have like the, uh, you know, the cougars and the, their foxes and stuff like that. So we'll get the pheasant one. Uh, we won't kill any rabbits, guys. <laughs> we'll get the turkey one. I know we already have a turkey, but again, if I see one, I'd like to be able to shoot at it. Uh, I don't the think we'll do the, the sheep. in Texas is out of control. <laughs> is it? Actually, it's out of control everywhere. Rabbits are rabbits, man. Yeah, I mean, rabbits are rabbits. Uh, let's get the boar license. We can hunt that. And then, yeah, I suppose we'll go with the bison license as well. And then I guess we'll go for these three different deer type. I know that's going to be a big chunk of our money here, but just so that when we see them, we can shoot them. And that should allow us to earn a lot of money because we have a lot of variety here now. Yeah, and then we can just go anywhere and do anything. Yeah, we can pretty much target anything uh, with the exception of the predators. So, yeah. Well, we'll bring the shotgun, we'll bring our other gun, and so we'll do a different place this time, and then maybe next time we'll do a different weapon, if we earn a lot of money. we got to get some a good amount of money here, guys. Uh, I think we're good on our backpack, so let's go ahead and go out. Uh, so a new place. Back to Texas. So which one do you want to go to? There's two different regions. This one's more deserty. Mm. It's got cacti. And then this region's a little bit different. It's the cowboy capital of the world according to the Texas legislator. Oh, okay. Uh, so those are the animals. Uh, let's I see. the bandera. So this is what we'll find here. And then this is what we'd find here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Here we can get the pronghorn and the bison for new animals. While here we could kill the pronghorn... The pe pheasants and the wild. <laughs> kill We're going to kill peasants. We're going to kill the peasants, guys. <laughs> Here we can do the pronghorn. There's plenty of those. The turkey, or er, uh, the pronghorn, the pheasants, and the wild boars would be the ones we don't have yet. That's we up to you. do some boar hunting. We haven't seen a lot of boar, though. So True. I should note that. You know, I guess we'll try this this place first, because I've been to this place. Uh, the Bandera region. I've been here once before. Uh, one other, last thing I want to show you guys is changing the time of day also seems to affect the weather. It seems like the weather is affected by the time of day. Like it all has a setting. So if we're on the afternoon here and we go out in the afternoon and say we were to go to uh, Colorado, you see Colorado's raining here in the Roosevelt Forest. Oh, okay. But maybe not because it's not raining in the Pawnee Meadows, which it was. Okay, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, I seems some, it seems that it's... uh. It's based off of that in a way, though. Like, let's say if we switched over to evening, which is when I want to go. We'll go in the evening. I think the desert in Eden is just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, it's Texas normal here. sunsets, man. Okay. There's supposed to be snow as well, guys. Uh, did we say this one? Yeah, we said this one. So we'll go out here. And again, this is a, a really nice map. Uh, I, I explored it a bit in that hour that I played before we started the series. And I liked it. It's a nice map. Uh, it's a lot easier to see animals than, say, uh, the Roosevelt Forest. Uh, but not quite as easy as the meadow. But yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Just gorgeous, guys. And here's our uh, little shack that we live in. I'm sure, we get like. Snakes are going to get all up yeah, in Yeah, snakes shit. and tarantulas and scorpions. 
Oh, brown recluses. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably see some brown recluses some as whiz. well. <laughs> <laughs> Their dog just sitting down enjoying the, the sunset. See, he can recognize the beauty as well. Uh, here's the map. There is a river on this one. So there's one river that goes through here. So definitely not as much water as, as you'd expect as uh, the Colorado map. I guess that meadow map only had those legs. But yeah, this is not the place to try and hunt ducks. <laughs> there's no ducks. Uh, See, so yeah, I guess we'll just go... We'll go south. I went north before, so... The, yeah, we'll go south this time. And we won't have the sun in our eyes, either. Yeah. Do a little bit of night hunting. Now, I don't know how well this will go with attack, going after prey. Uh, because from what I noticed while playing is that the predators seem to be more active at night, which makes sense. Is this the map with the boar? You know what? I don't think so. Oh, no, I think the other one. this one has bison. So if we see any bison, we'll be able to hunt it. Doesn't have snakes, does it? <laughs> no, nah, I don't think so, Jace. What we're looking is for is bison, uh, any kind of deer or elk, including that pronghorn, or pheasants. I think I'm just too used to survival games. Like, <laughs> are things trying to kill us right now? Like, should we be worried about predators? Yeah, this game doesn't even represent that, which I think is kind of odd. I don't know. It, it does seem really odd that, like, like, I'm fine with, like, animals not attempting to actively hunt you. Yeah. Because animals don't do that very often. But they at least do defend themselves. Here, you'll be attacking a bear, and he's not even going <laughs> to defend himself. He's like, stop, please. All right, yeah, a cougar. I mean, if you're in a fight with a cougar, I mean, it's, it's yeah. going to be a fight. If you don't get that first shot on him. So, I just feel, I mean, they'll probably run away, actually, but... There'd be rattlers all up in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd be everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Though at nighttime, they might go inside more. Since it'd be uh, cold. It gets really cold True. in the desert at night. They like to sit out on rocks during the day. We ought to know. We used to live in Arizona. Here we go. He found something. Excellent. Uh, we lived in Arizona for a while. I uh, can't figure out what he found. Bobcat. Oh. Footprints. Okay, well, we can't hunt that, so... My aunt had a pet bobcat for a while. A pet bobcat? Yeah. <laughs> how are they, like, are they, like, uh, how close are they as far as, like, behavior to regular cats, to, to domesticated They're cats? They're fucking wild, man. <laughs> so they act really wild? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they do have, you know, similar tendencies mm -hmm. in a way, because she had it as a kitten, but... Yeah, that's yeah, what I was thinking. <laughs> They're little assholes, man. <laughs> well, cats are kind of assholes. Yeah, anyway, that's but. true. Just imagine a bigger asshole. All right, just looking out here. Shum. I I sometimes feel like the nighttime is is less active overall though. Yeah. So I, I guess most animals might be trying to go to sleep. Again, I don't have like a ton of experience in the night to to say for sure, but it also seems like certain parts of the map can be kind of desolate. Might want to go by the the river. True. See if we can find anything. There's something out there. You see that? Is that a rabbit? Probably a hare. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Cottontail rabbit. Okay, that's a big ass rabbit. <laughs> mm hmm. You can see him all the way from over here. How the hell not every predator in the land see him and I eat know, him? I know, right? I guess it makes sense, though, that he would be out as the sun's going down. Mm hmm. Because rabbits are crepuscular. And yeah, they'd be sleeping all afternoon, guys. Mm-hmm. That's what our buddy does anyway. He gets up in his box and he sleeps all afternoon until I eat a, a banana for lunch <laughs> and then he comes shooting out. out trying to get some from me. Begging. He's like, Nanner man. <laughs> Here's some Nanner. Look how cute I am. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, nothing that we can hunt just yet, guys. There's a tower over there we can go hop in. It's kind of far, but... I guess we can start making our way over there. Seems like an area that some bison would stroll through. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so somebody had brought up uh, how in real life when you hunt, you don't usually walk around, you know, hunting. Mm -hmm. Sprinting yeah, everywhere, you know, looking for <laughs> animals. Because, yeah, the animals will hear you well before you hear them or see them and run away. And I know you're talking about real life. He did kind of bring it up in, in, in some gameplay uh, in that regard as well. But uh, just as far as the gameplay goes, I actually tried that, guys. 
just to see how effective it was because they give you these towers to hop into. Uh huh. And it was not very effective. Oh, really? Nah, it was, just a, bunch it was of there a lot of waiting. Yeah, not doing anything. It definitely felt a lot longer uh, before I found it. Because not, not every time I waited did I not see anything. There were a couple times they came to me. Uh-huh. But it took a long time. Well, yeah, in like real life, you got to like bait them and mm-hmm. like, you know, have your spot that you feed regularly for them to come through. Yeah, I tried doing with the spray uh, for the animal I was trying to get there. Mm-hmm. It was an elk. I was trying to get elk there. And and I don't know if it, they maybe they just didn't smell it or whatever, but yeah, they didn't they didn't come. One time I waited for thirty minutes and I just said, oh, you know wow. what? Yeah, the kids got all the kids were watching me play and well, they got all no bored. Animals. Like, why are we just waiting here? I was like, Cause I'm testing something, kids. I gotta test this to see if it's if it works. Your dad found something. Oh, did he? Oh, and I forgot to praise him the first time I found them. I was gonna <laughs> stop finding stuff. He's like, first. whatever, copper. What'd you find, boy? He's so happy. He's like, is this better? <laughs> no, but I'll praise you. Good job. Good job anyways. I mean, I would want to know if there was a cougar around. <laughs> yeah. Again, I kind of, now that I think about it, I, I went the nighttime just to do something different. But maybe we should have just did like afternoon or something. Because I do kind of have a feeling like it's mostly the predators that are out at night. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And so since we can't hunt any of the predators... Obviously, this that would not be good. So yeah, we might. Oh, he found something. We could always like go back. We can't find anything because we, you know, we don't have anything now. So we can just return straight to the lodge and then go right back out and go at a better time of day if we can't find anything. Oh wait a minute, we got white-tailed deer. Uh, and he was here recently. So sure. I know we've already hunted white-tailed deer, but this will get us money. So. We'll go after him. Come on, boy. And you never know. We might end up finding something else out there. All right, so he's on the hunt. He's trailing him. He's go, boy, boy, go. Boy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't really know. He ain't got nads. <laughs> <laughs> You've been one looking? Well, I did look at his butt. It's in her face. And I called him a boy, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe he's not, or he's fixed. Yeah, true. Somebody chopped his balls off. Poor boy. Does chopping his balls off affect his hunting skills? <laughs> I would hope not, because female animals can hunt. I mean, he ain't got no balls. Go Such a good dog. It sounded like he said a stupid dog. I was like, what did you just <laughs> say to your dog, man? Like, you better just shoot yourself in the face. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did have an awesome July 4th, because again, we haven't had ours yet, uh, but you know, by the time you guys watch this, you would have had yours, if you celebrated, of course, obviously it's American holiday, so. It's supposed to rain all day. Here, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how I ho- that goes. I hope your guys' day went better, but we're expecting issues with ours, which is really unfortunate. Uh, we're, we're, you know, obviously we're looking, he's lost. Oh, copper. Yeah, he's all turned around, but I mean, like, there's these prints, can't we just follow these? Oh, did, he, did we lose him? Yeah. We go right here, and then he goes into the bush. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. They're right here. All right. Well, we're doing the job, Copper. They're right follow, here. Follow me, Copper. I got this. I know the way. I hate that because you're looking at the ground, though. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then we're going to run through these bushes and... and spook him. Who knows if we're even going to... Stay on track. Yeah, we lost him, guys. All right. Well, let's head back over to the river. But again, I, I do feel like maybe uh, going there at night was probably not smart. I was just all focusing on trying to do some different stuff. I mean, animals gotta go somewhere. They're out here somewhere. I'm sh- <laughs> I'm sure we'll find some of them. Uh, again, that white-tailed deer was clearly walking around. Now I don't know where they're all at, like where they're all located, because I only went to this map once. And I did find two deer by the river. And I shot a few other things here, too. I can't remember what all I found. Again, that was on my first save. I'm surprised that you I did before this series. That. Pretty good at climbing. Uh, I, I think they kind of have to make you be because you can't even skyrim, and, like, skyrim your way up, you know, true. jumping up because there's no jump button. True, true, true. Is that a tent? Yeah, well, we can go locate that, I guess. You never know, we might find something down there. Where are the craters? Let's do a little search here, guys. See if we can't find anything. 
Again, though, if we don't find something soon, I am thinking about leaving the map and coming back on a different time of day. Let's see what Copper found. Probably, yep, more Bobcat. Good, dog. good job, boy. Alright, so let's go reveal that tent, and if we haven't found anything on the way down, Copper doesn't find anything for us to, to track. Then we could just go with the river, or we could, you know, call it quits and then come back during the day. Uh, I don't know if time of day... Well, actually, I do know that. There was a, uh, a loading screen tip that said time of day affects the animals, so... And when they're out and what they're doing. So, yeah. It could very well be the case that nighttime we just see less activity. Are there coyotes on this map? Yes, I believe so. So, yeah, there are coyotes. Oh, copper found something. Probably some coyote dung, actually. Uh, cottontail rabbits. Such a good dog. Oh, nice. Uh, for investigating all those uh, clues, we now got the private investigator trophy. This thing does hand out quite a few trophies overall. If you're a trophy hunter. Yeah, if you care about such things. Let's go ahead and reveal this tent, guys, so we can fast travel here if we wanted to. And, yeah, perhaps it'd be better to try going during the day, because I, I kind of feel like I have noticed that. So we could just return and then come back, like, immediately back at a different time of day and see if uh, see if we have more success. You can come in the morning or the afternoon. What do you think, Jinx? I don't know. I was kind of thinking morning, but... Afternoon's going to be hot as shit. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, we've played in the morning a lot already, so... True. Yeah, we can do afternoon. Yeah, we'll go out in the desert, in the Texas desert. Yeah. In the afternoon. That sounds brilliant. We're going to die of dehydration, guys. Hell yeah, we are. A heat stroke. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at this damn loading screen. I already feel all hot. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, yeah. The, the desert is a place of extremes, guys. Uh, if you've never been to the real desert, which many people haven't. I mean, if you haven't been, like, the if you're American, you could just go to the southwest U.S. and you'd be up in the desert, but... Oh, it, it sounds hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just all the bugs are out there dying. Like, it's so hot. But, yeah, it gets so hot at, during the middle of the day, as you'd expect. Like, in a place like Arizona, good God. We took our kids there when we drove <laughs> through to go on our vacation where we went to, to California. And we also went to Vegas a couple years ago. And our kids were shocked at, like, what real heat feels yeah. like. When you get out of the car after you've been in air conditioning for a couple hours. And it's like 118 it's degrees. Yeah. I and mean, he gets up to like 120 something. Mm -hmm. It's just ridiculously hot in Arizona, man. And you're like, we're cooking. And like, then you'll yeah, get those are. people that are from there. We're like, well, it's a dry heat. <laughs> it's like, and? Yeah, at least there's that. I yeah, it's that not is. humid, but <laughs> the hottest hots are typically a dry heat. Uh, it doesn't change the fact that like the, the sweat evaporates off your skin. It's just ridiculous, God, man. I remember when we were looking for apartments down in the Houston area, oh, how that was humid ridiculous. it was. Oh, man. That was back when I worked at the prison. I was a correctional officer for several years. And we were thinking about moving down to the Houston area because we didn't like where we were at. And I was trying to move away from 12-hour shifts. The prison I worked at were 12-hour shifts, and they were just kicking my butt, man. Because it was a lot more than 12 hours. Yeah. When you count, like, you know, driving time to get there and then getting through security. I'd have to leave, like, really, really early. To get through security. And then they changed the thing where they were trying to catch dirty officers. And so they were also searching us on the way out. And so you get searched on Are the way in. Critters? Where? Right there. Oh, yeah. Those, those sheep. We don't, sheep. We don't have the... Ah. That was a desert bighorn sheep, though. So if we had killed those, it probably would have been a different place on the wall. Yeah, it does look different. Damn. I would have got the license if I knew that they were going to be different. All right, well, we've seen some animals, so we at least know that there are animals, activity. in fact, on this map. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to move to eight-hour shifts just to kind of make my life a little bit better. A little bit uh, better, like, you know, work-life ratio. Well, yeah, because you were gone, like, 14 to 16 hours. Yeah, I was gone for and a long time. And if you had, like, an incident, you are gone, like, forever. Yeah. Like, I, you were never going to I would come home for, like, a couple hours of sleep, man. It was just, yeah, it was just terrible. And so I wanted to go to eight hours, and so that's why we were going to Houston. Uh, but I ended up uh, quitting from that job before the transfer ever went through because it took like 
what six months yeah. when I quit the transfer like had been put in yeah it was a massive list because everybody was trying to move out of there and so yeah the, the transfer never went through before I ended up quitting the job but then I guess it's good that we didn't because then the hurricane hit yeah the hurricane <laughs> hit Houston flooded. right about when because I was by that point I was kind of up there in the list so we probably would have moved soon mm -hmm. I think we would have been in Houston if I had stayed at that job I think we would have been in Houston when uh that hurricane hit and oh, flooded yeah. it all uh, so that would have been rough. I guess it was divine it was intervention. Or fate. Destiny. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, the, the desert, what a lot of people don't don't think about when it comes to the desert is how damn cold the damn desert is, man. It is like mm -hmm. really cold at nighttime, guys. Like you wouldn't expect it, but, but it is. Like much colder than you would think. Like you may have heard that before. Like, oh yeah, it's cold at night. But yeah, it's like freezing. And it's just such a stark contrast from the day and to just go back and forth between those yeah. those two. People ain't made for that. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful though. Uh, that's why we actually moved to Arizona. We, I, I took Jinx there because I had lived there for a little while. And uh, I took Jinx there uh, when we were dating. And she ended up really, really liking it. And so where's the thing you found? Some oh. Hoofs. Desert Bighorn Sheep Hoops. Okay, right. hoops. Good job, boy. I keep oh, forgetting I you could do that. You could... Well, you did because I showed you once, but... I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> James doesn't remember anything. Yeah, you can do this. You can look at yourself and go hunt. I don't know how well it works. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're going to be co keep going True. in and out of yeah. the first person. weird. Yeah. And it'll take you longer than just going that way, I suppose. Or maybe it's around the same time, but it's just kind of awkward, I'd say. We could try and hop into that uh, tower for a second just to at least see, kind of get a view around. We could just sit in the river. <laughs> could just sit in <laughs> the river, I suppose, because it's hot. Go get our balls wet. Like sure. copper clay. Or super sweaty. Although he don't look like the playing type. He's very serious. He's got a job to do, Jinx. I mean, that's true. He's got a job. All right, so yeah, not seeing any thing from the way we came <laughs> i guess we should expect that but not seeing anything ahead either does the river seem lower than it was at night did we come up to the river at night i don't know we saw it i think we just briefly saw it that that's sheep. just that sheep yeah he's just flaunting his shit because he knows i ain't got a license <laughs> Come up and that's probably how it is. Rub himself on me. Like I know you ain't got papers for me. <laughs> oh, something up there. Is that just a sheep? I too? think that's the sheep that crossed the river. You think he got all the way up there? Yeah. Already? He's a sheep. He's got like little mountain hoofs. I'm just assuming it'd take him longer to get up there. Well, he saw you and decided to be in a hurry. Or he's just taunting me up there. That's what's True. really going on. Looking down on you. Mm-hmm. Oh, Is that a pheasant? Looks like it. Oh, it looks no, like a I don't think predator it's just, bird. I don't think it's something we can hunt. It's an ambiance. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, if we see a pheasant, we'll hunt that as well. We got. I brought the shotgun so we can we can hunt it. So yeah, right now just looking for anything. Any animals. Anything to shoot. And like, I don't know how I feel about the desolation yeah. of the uh, the world. Well, it feels more authentic because usually when you go out, you don't see a lot of animals. They do kind of tend to try and stay away from you. What? You'll see them here and there. <laughs> I mean, you see them here and there. Yeah. But you're not just, it's not just like littered with animals all over the place. Like it's, you know, a hunter's playground. That's probably why there are no animals. They've all been hunted. Yeah, but at the same time, well, I, I think it's you know obviously more realistic being being like this as a video game. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's all different types of uh, audiences though, True. and a lot of these simulator audiences are uh, they just want authentic, like an authentic experience mm -hmm. as much so as possible, and so they might very much disagree with. With my feeling. I do wish there was like a little bit more animals. Maybe just a little bit more. But then again, also sometimes there's just a ton of them. Yeah. Uh, they're just all over the damn place. It's just, it seems like sometimes it's I'm not. not sure their algorithm. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how it works. But usually Lead getting up on down. these. <laughs> again, I don't think there's any uh, health. I think we could just leap off of this and be just fine. I suppose we could test it. If we wanted to. But yeah, I don't think that there's any penalty. There's a tent. Or is that the tent we've already seen? I don't think so. I think that's a different one. We haven't even been over that way. We could go over to the tent, I suppose, if we wanted to reveal it. Which I guess having more tents would be helpful for the fast traveling. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here, guys. I'm gonna look up across here and see if there's anything wandering by the river. You'd think they'd be thirsty or hot. Yeah, with the being this damn hot. Wanna dip their balls in the river or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Clean yourself up a bit. Also, we do apologize if you hear any fireworks in the background. I just recorded an EU video a couple hours ago, and it was just, there's just fireworks all throughout it. I don't know how well you can hear it on camera, but it, was, it is fucking loud, man. It's not fireworks, it's other hunters. Oh, I think, yeah, we already mentioned Jeez. that, didn't we? <laughs> I forgot we mentioned that in the video already, but yeah. Yeah, the other hunters, guys. <laughs> they <laughs> that you can't all see the animals. Out here. Uh, but yeah, they, they're around in our parts, man, where we, where we live. They start celebrating July 4th about a week or two before it starts. Yeah, it's been like two weeks out. Mm -hmm. And then they'll celebrate it at least a week afterwards. And so it's just constant fireworks all, all, at all times of the day. Which I don't know where they got them from because we went to the fireworks stand and there wasn't anything left. <laughs> there wasn't anything left because, because they're, the ones, they're the ones who bought it all. Yeah, true. But don't worry, guys. We did get fireworks. We got enough. I think we have slightly less than we had last year. I don't really? know though. We I might actually have we might have more. more actual fireworks, but less big ones. Yeah. We had that one big one that we got last year. I don't know what it was called, but that was pretty cool. And it was it was a long one too. Is it what like two minutes or something? Like that? What'd you find, boy? Some poop. Poo. A bobcat. Damn it. Who's a firm. Good dog? Mm hmm So it's not Didn't have that squish to it. The animal we're looking for. Yeah, when you get it in your hand and kind of <laughs> squeeze it together, and it's like a turns into a like paste. Play doh. Yeah, a play doh. That's not that's not the soft stuff I'm looking for, Jinx. Are we really talking then about playing with poop? You're using that cheap <laughs> play doh that you get from like the Dollar Tree or something. <laughs> I actually haven't played with play doh for a long, long time. What? You are missing out. Yeah, no, the kids. Get you some play -Doh. The kids be playing. We don't even need to. Do it. Don't the kids have play doh, or they have they have something that they're um, playing with. They did have Play-Doh, but it got all dried out. Mm. Eh, that shit happens. Man, I'm, like, surprised that we can't even, like, we have, like, such a good, like, height position here. Like, if the animals are loading, which I guess yeah, <laughs> we're not true. entirely positive like, that they are. Like, if we could see a rabbit hopping around, like, you would think we would be able to see a bison or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which makes me think that there's just no animals all throughout here. Or we just can't see that far because we don't have binoculars. I don't know. I don't know. I would just think that the binoculars would just give you greater zoom. Like, you just get closer, but you could still see, you know, movement or whatever. Oh, there's That's bison. That. Oh, okay. All right, so we found something, guys. It's like miles away. It's pretty far. Yeah, it's really far, guys. <laughs> but at least we have a, a general idea of where it is. Can we get to him in time? I'm just going to see if there's anything else closer. Yeah, we will just run up along the uh, the top here. It did seem like he was going up it to me. All right, we're going to cut some of that run out over here, guys, because it took a while. And we kept running out of energy. Uh, so I think he was... Was he right around that corner? Oh, there's something dear. right here. So this is where all the damn animals are. Of course, that's not one that we can hunt, but... We didn't get a license for the pronghorn? We do, but it's a female. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So we need a, we need a male one. Does she have a mate? We should have got ourselves, like, a horn or something, too. We didn't really have any tools. True. We ain't got no piss. I don't know what a bison uh, mating call sounds like. I don't even think we have a scent mm -hmm. hider. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Jinx's bison call. Did it work? Any bisons out there getting getting Anybody horny? Anybody interested? <laughs> Specifically bison. We're looking for bison. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to get some people coming on. Oh, yeah, Jinx, that got me going. <laughs> Let's get out of here, you sick fuck, man. 
<laughs> is it sick to want a spoon with me? No, to <laughs> to want to to find your grunts. <laughs> I guess I find you love your grunts. my grunts. <laughs> Take it back. I, I guess I like your grunts, huh? My grunt to me, baby. Oh, there he is. Where? Up. Look up. Up, up, up. There's Bobcat. There's Bobcat. Up, up, up. Right there. Oh. He's not being marked because no. he got the Bobcat marked. Oh, there he is. Yeah, this is where all the damn animals are. You know, guys, I wasn't saying anything before because I wasn't sure if this is the case, but it does seem like, and we, and we saw this on, a, on another map, it feels like sometimes they're all on, like, one side of the river. Yeah. And, like, if you go to the other side of the river, you won't find anything. Mm -hmm. When I was playing during that time that I was grinding, it definitely felt that way. Like, we were on one side of the river, and we never found an animal, and we were over there for, like, an hour, and we didn't find a single animal. But then we went to the other side of the river, and then we found a bunch of animals. All the animals. Yeah, like all the animals, man. Just looking for other animals out here. He found something. If it's the bison dropping, so then we'll we'll track it. Here's something like a sheep. Well, this is like the Pride Rock of Texas. Yeah, this is the Pride Hill. Mm-hmm. This is nice. What'd you find, boy? I found some hooves. White-tailed deer. That's old, though. Good job. Means it's probably a distance. All right, there's our bison, Jinx. Ooh, he's a big one. Mm-hmm. Now we don't have anything to conceal us. Is that the the same bison? Yeah, it looks like it is. I figured we'd just shoot him up from up here. I mean, you're not gonna get any better. Yeah. Right? Uh, better view. Should we just go for the headshot? Or do you think? Or we get less points, I think, if we go for that jump. True. All right, so he's not going to die with one hit, especially not with our caliber. I missed him. <laughs> die, Pastor. I'm just hoping yeah, that we don't lose him in that brush over there. Halfway to Mexico. Yeah, because he's not even going to be remotely close to dying. Like, I don't even see his blood. Oh, there we there go. There it is. All right, so we got his blood. So we'll follow the blood trail. And you shouldn't be able to get away from us. Oh, uh, well, never mind. Take that back. Because <laughs> well, we got to go, th go through the brush here. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be tough. It is tough. Good grief. It's so easy to lose them. I don't even know. What we need to do Get is have dig. Copper sniff this out for us. Make sure he can't get away. We lost a lot of blood right here. He's gonna hear us coming, trying to just walk through the brush. Uh, through the brush, yeah. Hopefully, Copper's got him tracking right now, because I've, I've just lost him. There it is. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's go and continue the brush. And we're just gonna walk, in, and hopefully, he'll stop if we're not sprinting after him. Well, mm -hmm. uh, I guess we were pretty far away from him. And he was really fast, too. True. And that elk just kept on going. Mm hmm. Did he die? I don't think so. Sure that's not him? Oh. Is it turtle? <laughs> what is Oh, he pooped. Oh, Ew. wow. That's Ew, a, copper came he, out of copper it. Copper all jumped in there. You were not riding he, in the car. He done lost his bowels, man, because cause he's, he's in a pickle right now. That's a lot of poop. Mm-hmm, a lot of blood, a lot of poop, a lot of stuff coming out of this bison right now. Oh. There it is. We don't need copper. <laughs> yeah, we'll be our own damn trackers, man. I didn't mean it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hopefully he's, like, slowed down some. Mm -hmm. And what sucks is we're going uphill, so we can't even, like, spot him. Yeah, or sneak up on him. He seemed really fast, though. Yeah. Like, a lot faster than I was expecting it to be. He knows to go in the bushes, too. Like, damn, yeah. So, because of this, we're just He's not clever. able to see him. Oh, there oh, he is. is that him? Yep, and we alerted him. Damn it. And, and that's the other thing. We're running through the, the bushes like this. We but, should have stuck with the track. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm trying to stay on the track. I thought we were in it. Ah, we lost, oh, him, no. in, we lost him in the bushes, guys. Well, we know it went into the bush somewhere. 
right here. So it goes into the bush. Oops. Good job, boy. I need you to track this for me. So it goes in the bush and then it goes... Into some more bushes. Yeah, this is where we lose them. Okay, there we go. Okay, it goes this way. Yeah, we'll just have to walk through the, the brush. It's just it's too easy for me to not only get lost, but also, uh, we'll, uh, you know, run up on them and be too damn loud. Although it really doesn't seem to matter. Even if walking up on them, you can't really oh, get very close. is he dead? Nope, he's not dead, but he's, uh... Dying? We are aware of his presence. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I think he's dying. Yep. Can we stab him? He's dead. <laughs> We got him. We got ourselves a bison, God guys. Dang. He's mature too, so this is about as good as it gets, guys. Wow, he's gonna be a. He looks like a monster. Mm -hmm. You see how big that guy is? Mm. Oof, that was a good hunt right there, guys. You can only get one license or uh, one bison with each oh, license, damn. though. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Then I gotta let you just hunt down all the bison in the area. So at least this was a successful hunt. I was worried that we'd have a, a video that were, and, and again, I did expect to, to have videos like that where you have trouble, you know, finding an animal, but. All right, good job, job, boy. I think he just weekend. found, yeah, I think he just found this here. Oh, I guess we're petting him. <laughs> he made me pet him. He forced it. All right, guys, so this is what we're gonna do because we're only recording one video today. Uh, we'll go ahead and ta get back to the camp, which is pretty far away, isn't it? So far. Wasn't there a tent somewhere? No. Oh, Lord. There was a tent out <laughs> yeah. here. But, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to find it. Oh, there's a deer right there. That's like 300 yards away. It's 200 yards away. It's 213 yards, and Jinx says, that's like 300. It's like 300. <laughs> what are you talking about? That one said 262. Oh, did it? I thought it said 213. Maybe it's me that's... It doesn't matter anyway. I think he's up high. He'll see us way before we see him. But if he starts sprinting away... What I've found is that... And, and you guys have probably seen it here in the videos. Is, is Sometimes it's like... Hey, it's 119 right there. Sometimes it seems like just easier to... You know, if he gets aware of you, at least you get the little icon. True. And tells you where he's at. And then you can kind of run towards that icon. We're moving away from the home base, though. Yeah, true. But, I mean, like, we also might be able to kill this deer in one hit. Because I got skills. <laughs> it does seem like one shot will typically kill them if, it's a, if it hits an organ. It just sometimes takes like a really long time. That bison went down a lot quicker than I thought he was going to with the one I know, shot. Though. I was thinking that he was going to need more than one shot. Mm hmm. We hit something clearly that was vital. Good. Mm hmm. All right, well, we lost the deer jinx, so we won't be going after him. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Oh, that's a different deer. There are deer everywhere in these parts, isn't there? Yeah, this definitely does seem like. And this is also going the way we need to go to get to the, to the lodge. Uh, but yeah, there. This is definitely the, where all the animals are at. I kind of feel like the placement of the animals is off, in a way, because they do seem to be all like in one area. Now maybe that might be authentic if it's like you know something there, like food source True. or water source. But it just seems to be kind of like just one random place on the map. I don't know. Maybe there's one asshole predator that lives on that other side. Mm -hmm. Killing all the animals. And everyone's like, you know what? Let's just not go over there. No, we're going to stay all our asses over here. There it is right there. It's, that's got to be a female, right? Yeah. Nope, that's a male. Oh, really? He's just not very is impressive. Baby? Oh, he went under a hill. Or went, you know, down. So we missed him. Ah, he's going the way we want to go, so... We'll keep following him. Unless we lose him. Fall in a hole. Mm hmm. I wish I'd hit him so we'd have that blood trail to, to follow. Ah, I missed again. <laughs> I'm just missing, guys. It's kind of hard to hit the them when they're, they're running. And this train Hashtag sucks, man. Excuses. Excuses. Yeah, it's not flat train, so. I also feel kind of rushed or whatever. Uh, we're actually faster we're than We're tiring them out. Yeah, we're faster than him, so <laughs> I suppose we could just walk up right up to him. <laughs> Everything's slower in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> we're over here strafing faster than him. 
Alright, he's been shot. He's gonna go down. There's no way he won't, right? Is he? Yeah. He just gonna keep on <laughs> keeping on. <laughs> Is he at least bleeding? I hit Can him, right? Can butt stalk him? I don't see any blood. Or maybe I didn't hit him. Oh, no, there's blood. Yeah, there's blood. Oh, okay. There's not a lot. Mm-hmm. And he's still going the way we want him to go, so. Is there a melee? No, there's no melee. <laughs> he said butt. Hit him with the butt. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, that'll preserve the pelt. <laughs> can we ride him? No, we can't Woo! ride him. Oh, we gotta make sure he's going we south. Can hurt That's the him. way we're going. We can't hurt him. Come on, copper. <laughs> I can't whistle, so I would not be able to give commands. <laughs> Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a young one. So we probably aren't going to keep this one, guys. I don't, I don't really even want that on my wall, honestly. You were never going to make offspring anyway, little feller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ladies are going to like you with the man layers. But you never know. We killed him in his youth. Who knows what he could have grown. What he, he aspired to be when he grew yeah. up. I'm just surprised. Probably we, just alive. He's still not dead. And he's bleeding. Well, you shot him in his big toe. I feel like I didn't. I feel like I shot him in the back well, of the neck or something. Well, looking at the blood, I would think that... Oh, he told you to back the fuck off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, he barks when he sees animals or something like oh, that. He's calling... Oh, is that the dog? I thought yeah. that was the deer. Oh, that's the dog barking, oh. Jinx. You thought it was the deer? I thought it was the deer. Yeah, Copper, we might need to here? shoot him again. Well, he pooped. So maybe he's gonna Was die that poop soon. or was that blood? I don't know. Looked like apples. <laughs> I thought we lost him there for a second. Now there's a tent that we can fast travel to, so okay. let's hurry up and, and tra tra fast travel to Lodge. So we need to take this guy out. He's leading us there. Oh, I missed. Can't shoot him in the butthole. I wasn't trying to shoot him in the butthole. That's why I was kind of going I guess, off to the left. You know that preserves the pelt too. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go off to the left a little bit so it would, like, you know, hit his side. And that's also why I missed him. I'm surprised he's still going. <laughs> Come on, man. We, we got to stop right fined. here. We haven't. We only hit him once, Jinx. Oh. And we only hit him one time. All those shots, and there's only been one that I actually hit him with. I know that's kind of sad, but that's... Get your Bowie knife out. Ugh. Yeah. We had to hit him quite a few times. We hit him twice, but... Didn't expect that. I hit three organs, though. You shot though. him in all kinds of organs. Mm -hmm. You must have shot him in the asshole. <laughs> all right, so we have the tent. So that allows us to go back to our camp, and then we'll take a look at what we got, and then we'll head back to the lodge. All right, so let's fast travel back here. And I'm glad that the fast travel is so quick, and you don't have to have, like, a uh, loading screen, screen or anything like that. Which is nice. Alright, so let's claim our animals. Of course we're going to go after that and, and keep and claim it as a trophy. The 1,359 pound bison. Good God. Wow, that's worth a lot. Look at how much credits it's worth. Yeah. Can get you a whole new gun with that bison. But we're going to put it on our wall, guys. Because we don't know we're going to find another bison that impressive. Like this guy, on the other hand. Pounds. Yeah. He's worth four and three credits, so we're going to go and sell him. And then let's go ahead and uh, return to the lodge. Turn back to the lodge, we'll take a look at our bison, and then we'll be ending today's episode. Uh, but I don't know where he's going to be at. Uh, we'll have to see. Somewhere impressive, I would think. He's got to be somewhere in the like in the front, you'd oh, think. There oh, he there is. he is. Yep. Oh, that's a big feller. Good God, look at how big his head is. Wow, such a majestic creature, and we just took his life. Yeah. So we could put him on the wall. We didn't even eat him, did we? He I'd like to pretend that we made some burgers out of him or something. That we yeah. didn't just chop his head off and didn't eat him. I would want to eat him. God, bison is delicious. Uh, so that is going to be the end of today's episode. I'm glad we were able to get some hunting done, even if it was towards the end of the video. Next episode, we'll... I don't know. We might, we might go after predators if we can afford to get another gun. I don't think so, though. I think we're, we're kind of close to being broke. Yeah, we can't get another gun yet. So we can either go back out to the desert, uh, or we can go to that other desert location, I suppose, and see what we can find out there. Uh, which we did get the, let me just take a look here at the licenses. 
Okay, so because we have done the uh, the bison here, there's not really a lot that isn't also located here. So yeah, we could go here for the pronghorns, the pheasants, and the, the boars. That's what we'll do next episode until we have enough money to get a new gun and start doing some predator hunting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.